Hello guys. So Scooby and I are going to a repair trip uh, to Warendorf today to car service uh, Baumheuer. Yes. So it's uh, very stressful at the moment uh, because I have no time and uh, all the packing and stuff and uh, I forget everything. And I have to go to, this, um, to the Home Depot market and uh, to get some stuff and then uh, to another place to get some uh, bearings. So small, small uh, metal pieces for the repair, and uh, then uh, I have to drive about three hours to Warendorf. Yes, so at the moment it's about one o'clock, and I have to finish some things here on the car, fixing some cables and so on, and then we go off to Warendorf. Okay. So we are on our way now. Scoop is running good now, after some problems at the beginning. Uh, so, it's just quite pretty warm in here, I've installed a new fan inside and uh, some good music sound system here, just a short demonstration. It's not perfectly tuned right now, but uh, so it sounds good. So. Traveling at about 75 km per hour. We are going to Bauerndorf. I will show you the updates later. Uh, when they are finished. They are not finished right now. Yeah, so far so good. Scooby is doing well. So. Uh, it's about uh, 6 o'clock in the evening and uh, I'm about 50 kilometers to Warendorf, I think, maybe 30. Uh, so, still nice weather, but uh, everything's fine. I have to stop for, uh, for uh, Lidl to get some food and I have to stop for uh, filling station to get some petrol. Yeah. Maybe at the moment it's really expensive here. The cheapest uh, I have seen is uh, two euro and nine cents per liter. Super 95. Finally, at seven o'clock in the evening, we have made it. Scooby made it, and I too. Oh man! So now Scooby is thirsty. Two euro six nine. Oh man! Pretty much. So the filling station is directly opposite to the Baumheuer service station uh, tomorrow morning. So I will park on the parking lot over there, and then we start the repair in the morning. It's evening time in Warendorf. So, and here it is, the car service station of Hardy Baumheuer. So, tomorrow we will meet and then we hope we can repair the axle, front axle part, which uh, it's uh, really making a lot of noises on the right side. Um, the bolt on the front axle and what I do now is preparing the repair. So I will jack up the car, put uh, no, pull down the tires, and then the brake drums maybe. Uh, I don't know how far I will get to die because it's still a little bit of sunshine left. But uh, yeah, will be dark soon. And I have to cook. Yeah, something, <laughs> of course. Eating is very important. I want to show you guys what I have brought with me. Uh, so, for the repair tomorrow, some basic tools, spanners and so on. And the yeah, lift up for the front axle, my heavy metal uh, car lifter, a set of new brake drums for, for the brakes, because they are uh, making a lot of rubble. rubble, 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 rubble. When you put on the brake really hard, with a stutter like ABS. Um, 
So in here are some fluids and yeah, anything else, some tools. So I finally made it, uh, took off the wheels and the brick drums and so I always forget that on the driver side of the, for the transit, uh, for the old transits, uh, that the bolt lock nuts, um, they are uh, screw on the wrong way. <laughs> so they uh, loosen on to the right and fasten to the left. Just like the opposite. The opposite it's normal. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's the safety feature of the 60s. Um, so, I've done that. Um, when I've mounted it before, I had put in new wheel bearings. That's why that's uh, the fat. Uh, the grease, not, not fat. The grease looks very nice. So, um, I think that's it for today. I've lifted it up and so we can start tomorrow. Um, I, have many, uh, I have noticed that uh, there's uh, I when, when I drive, there's a slight um, loose steering. So, that's uh, five centimeters to the left and five centimeters to the right of the steering wheel. I can show you. Um, so normally it should be like this, straight down. And when I drive, I have to correct it. It's, it's like loose, like this one. Left and right. <laughs> I have to counter steer every time. So and, uh, I have seen that this behavior might be from a loose uh, this one here that's making noise noises and also in this direction too so this one is warm and have to has to be replaced i think i have the correct part with me so maybe we have time tomorrow to change that too i want to remove this uh, joint here steering and we want to take off uh, the axle bolt here, that's in here, and replace the bushings. Um, because this one has a lot of play in the up and down direction. It's about uh, half a millimeter. You can hear it. And that's too much and it's making a lot of noises when driving on uneven road. Good evening, I'm back again. So I'm doing some cooking as a one-star uh, chief cook. Um, I'm making today, I'm trying, um, pizza in a pan. I don't know if this will work out. So, but first I have to put on some stuff here. Some um, corn and sushuk uh, meat and some cheese and yeah, we have a chili problem here. Um, and uh, of course some bags. Well deserved bags. Oh, I'm so tired. It was a tr pretty stressful uh, ride. So, um, yeah. First time riding again in this car is, uh, yeah, not, not enjoyment <laughs> poor. Uh, I don't know. Uh, every strange noise is here and there and then will it make it or not? So, but uh, I hope it will work out. So, let's see how the pizza will go. Making the pizza. Special pizza. Uh, 
the best part. Putting chili on it. Uh, oh, ah, I forgot the jalapenos, man. Yeah, I forgot something. Jalapenos. Uh, damn it. Yeah, well, and, uh, it was not planned to. Ah. A slight note of chili. This is the Indian uh, chili extra hot. told you that I'm a one star cook because one star you get one star if you can make a fire or pitch on the oven that's a one star rating so and I think I can do a gas fire today all right so let's try it I don't know if this, this will work out so, put it on the pan. Uh, some nice chili mix here. Chili cheese mix. And something on the floor. So, and then, so now, let me again. So, for this to work, I hope this will work, and I put on, oops, uh, so let's fold it down here, then put it into go, and uh, yeah, ah, there it is. I have made fire. Yes. Well, how to do it right here? Can this work? Oh yeah, it can work, but it will get hot. Hmm. It's a little bit smoky here because the fat is dripping into the pan and then heat up. So I've turned it a little bit down. Maybe it's too hot. I don't want a black bottom of the pizza. Yes, we, well, well, well. Hmm. I don't know. If this could work or not. Hmm. It's not in the middle. The problem is the cars lean to this side. Also, the stove is not even in. Cheers. So the street is getting calmer now. Here's the main main road here, but there's also a train track directly opposite to the road. So that's loud. Hmm. Yeah, well, it's not the best area to uh, camp, but well, because I wanted to uh, prepare for tomorrow. Uh, there's another space uh, uh, onto. Um, few kilometers down the road here uh, was uh, allowed for campers uh, to stay the night or maybe three nights so maybe we can check it out um, when we are finished with the repair maybe next day or, or I don't know how, how long it will take us to repair it you know what um, the next time I turn this uh, grill around here so that the uh, this one here will hold up more easily. This amount will not move that much. What's it called? A lid. Uh, a glass lid. <coughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. 
not much happening here. I don't know if it if it's hot enough. So normally a pizza is not really under 20 minutes. So this could take a while. I don't know. First time try here on my gas oven. So the area around here that's uh, quite calm here because there are uh, small houses and so so weekend houses maybe uh, green area where they relax and so on. So that's a calm area, but you can't drive in there. So I have to stay here for today. So I have uh, just experienced another problem with uh, my water again. I think the pump is. I don't know what's wrong with these pumps. That's the second one that's not really working. Also, it is pumping water, but only a small spill. So, pizza, pizza, pizza. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. Cheese is melting a bit. Bing, bing, bong. Oh, there's a train coming. Ding, dong, ding, dong. Uh, so, this is. I just want to. Uh, show you some new uh, things here uh, I will, it's not finished now so but um, we have more drawers here here and there and then a foldable uh, table again uh, the train is coming oh yeah really small but loud hmm. I hope they will stop in the night and here it is uh, in the front uh, with uh, my navigation panel with uh, radio in it and there will be some flowers green green plants also green plants in here and then I, I, I will uh, paint it a little bit so it's not all all, all white here all right you know all right all right it's really difficult to say. Um, <clears throat> I have to practice practice again talking in English. It's not uh, what I do every day. So, hmm, looks good. I'm happy. <laughs> oh, first time today. First time today, <clears throat> and I'm really happy, man. Um, <sighs> what's it called? I can't wait for the pizza, you know. <sighs> so hungry. I've just had three uh, pieces of bread with some cheese and salami on it. Uh, but that's not enough for a big tall man like me. Take a look at the pizza again. Mm. Oh yes. It's not too hot here. It's really not hot. And this uh, cannot burn, so that's not a problem. <clears throat> Uh, you smell, uh, uh, I can smell the, the ripped fat that's burned inside the pan. So I have re uh, removed the steering joint here. And tomorrow I um, have to remove uh, the complete uh, brake uh, assembly here. Um, uh, so first take off the bearing and then the brake pad and... Oh, burning again. <clears throat> What's going on here? The problem with sujuk meat is it's quite fatty. So I've decided that the pizza is ready now because it's getting a little bit dark from the bottom here. So let's try it because it was also uh, not frozen anymore. It don't take any longer than a few minutes on the Hot grill, yes. Pretty good. 
Not bad, not bad. Hmm, that's right. Yeah, I'm enjoying my pizza. It's really great. You see, it's a little bit dark, but I have not watched it again. So, and here on my bar table, <laughs> I can drink my beer. Any pizza in standing position. Great, I love it. Mmm, delicious. This is how a stressful day could end. Should end. Not good. Mmm. -hmm. Really good. Nice chili taste. Mm. Mm. And the sujuk meat is also great. Mm -hmm. ah. I will tell you later on. After I have finished my pizza. Good morning guys. So it's repair time. Yeah, Hadi was here and he had took a, uh, has taken a look at the front axle parts and also the new parts here. And uh, yeah, he told me what to do. So that's what I will do now. Um, these are the new um, bushings here. And when they're pressed in, I have to use this uh, thing here to uh, widen up the bushings so the bolt can fit through it without any play and uh, some yeah these are the uh, small metal pieces that I've bought yesterday they're really thin 0 0.1 millimeter so yeah, my basic tools here and now starting the repair Today should be 30 degrees and sunny outside here. Wow. Well, actually I'm in the shade right now, but behind me there's a wall that's re reflecting the sun and it's pretty warm from, back, <laughs> from the back. Mm. He has brought some drill bits, so we're trying to drill this out. No other way to get the old thing out. It is the bolt is out. Uh, so uh, Hardy drilled, uh, uh, yeah, not in the correct direction, because uh, I uh, I would have done the same uh, error. Because uh, the drill bit, uh, you drill from here and you think you're in the middle to go through there. But the problem is, this is not uh, straight, so it is at an angle. And <laughs> the result is 
uh, a misaligned drill. So, uh, missed a bit on here. Yeah, not perfect, but not bad. So, um, the the old bolt here has some wear. And this is the old ceiling or bottoms uh, thing. This is the new part here. But uh, this one has got uh, two, um, two, two noses here, which were held up uh, in here, I think. But it's only one nose. Mm. I don't know. Okay. So the the inner bushings have ah, that's for the fat, I think. To run through the, the fat, the grease, not the fat. It's the same here. Yeah. There were also run lines for the grease. Yeah. Hmm. We are not sure if, they, if we want to uh, replace it or just add some uh, spacer, uh, spacer things here. We have used these uh, uh, Yato 19 to 21 millimeters. Uh, to scratch away a little bit of uh, metal in the middle part where the bolt was so that the new steering uh, axle bolt here will fit through it without any problems so that's really good now and I think we have decided to uh, use the old bushes because they're still good and tight fit um, but use the new bolt and uh, new rubber ceilings of course and yeah so and then we think we put some uh, some washers in between uh, we have used uh, the old uh, thing here and then uh, the new bolt and one washer of uh, 0 0.1 millimeter so at the moment the play is gone it's not it's only a little bit less than the other side but we have uh, not put in the correct bolt at the moment so we have to see and now i will put in some grease in it I'm really happy now because now it's moving really soft without any play so now we can put in the correct bolt here to secure the this bolt very good so update, we have uh, mounted the new brake drums and Hardy uh, and adjusted it so that they break even on both sides, so we're good. Let me see, I just want to mount uh, uh, in this right direction. That's uh, a little bit stronger here. I think it's good. Um, so the problem with the steering bolt is uh, I have unmounted it and then uh, realized that I've uh, brought the 
the wrong uh, part with me. So I have both parts for this side here. Uh, this one was left gear and this one is right gear. And I have both parts at, ho at home in the gar garage, but uh, I've brought only this part here. And, and the, the other one for the, for the steering here. I have these two and uh, this one is at home. Yeah, perfect. Ah, so shit. Um, tja. And this one is really bad. And so I have to replace it immediately at home. Um, well, well, well. So, let's see. Mount the tires and then uh, test the brake. Oh, really exhausting heat here. Uh, good that I have my parasol. Is it called parasol? I don't know. Uh, Sonnenschirm in Germany. Um, so, yes. Uh, yeah, we're lucky. The one side is in the shade now. Yeah. Good. See you later. Ja, hier ist ja jetzt andersrum, ne? Ja, es war aber auch so vorhin, dass, dass die linke Fahrerseite schwergängiger als die Drehte fand ich. Finally, we are done. So, uh, we've just uh, tested it on the rolling uh, brake tester. <laughs> And, ja, uh, yeah, it was quite okay. And Hardy, uh, Wanted only about 20 euros, but I said no, he could be more. Uh, so I gave him 50. That's okay for his work. So, but I did most of the work, but uh, he adjusted the brakes and uh, helped me with the with the bolt replacement and so on. So just his his knowledge is uh, what it's worth. So you you can expect uh, to have a cheap price like me, but. Uh, Uh, I can recommend his service station here, of course. So and now uh, I will change my clothes again and I uh, want to go to Tomb uh, Market uh, to get some, uh, some something for my sink. And I have to go to the ATM to get some cash. Yes. So now it's about... Uh, 1700 so it's a uh, five in the evening so that uh, I will go to the other campsite where you can park for free for three days but I only wanted one night and I have to get home yes hello guys so I'm at a new place here's the camp uh, site where you can park for free near to the river Ems quite calm here, a lot of uh, cars here but uh, only th two other camper and there's a playground there over there with a football field, parking lot here, yeah nice and I have bought the part for the sink because this one is not working here and I have to, had to, uh, have to buy a flexible one so it was not planned to be uh, here for another night so that's why I don't have <laughs> that much food with me so this is my dinner for tonight chili con carne the best from the can you know and of course liquid gold I have just had dinner and then I have replaced the sink part with a new flexible one it's the old one there and I hope this will work fix the sink a bit yeah hmm. now the problem with the water pump so let's see that's all what comes out there 
first time water in the tank. So washing hands with one hand is not that easy. Sounds good, so that the water is running to the back. No, I can't see anything. Not enough. So, uh, the water tank is held by these two metal straps here, uh, fastened very tight, um, but I uh, have secured it also again together with the uh, strap here. Uh, this is the the valve, uh, 12 volt uh, um, valve for, for water, letting water out. Yeah, and there's the uh, cables for the uh, <coughs> for the reverse camera. I have not uh, connected it to the front. So I have not tried it. Everything in this car is not nice and shiny, but practical. That's how it should be. So, hmm. Now I will finish my beer and enjoy sunset. Ah, yeah. Yeah, small river M's. Oh, nice. There's a parking space. Good morning guys, so I'm back at Baumheuer because uh, after a quite calm night um, with uh, a mosquito in my room, <laughs> it was not nice, I haven't found it. Uh, so um, why I'm back? Uh, because I, on my test drive yesterday I noticed that the uh, loud knocking noises from the right front side are still there. So the repair that we've done was not the cause of the noises. Yeah. So uh, today we are going to lift up this car on a hydraulic car lifter and check it out what uh, might cause the noises. Yes. I just wanted to tell you that the diagnosis of the noises coming from the front axle that was my uh, diagnosis and not bum highs. All right. Scooby is on the hydraulic lifter, but the problem is that the frame has so bad spots for the lifter. So you can't really lift it up without breaking anything or uh, yeah, something is in the way, the tank is in the way on the other side and um, in the front part the exhaust is in the way. Um, the thing is uh, we don't want to hook it up on the... the the feathers. So we uh, hear the, the metal part down here because we want to check if there is any play there so we can um, lift it up on this. Yes, yes, problem. But uh, on the next garage here and, um, there is a four, uh, uh, four stand uh, car lifter so that's easier to drive on and then lift up the complete car without uh, these uh, lift our arms here. He is going to ask uh, if we can check it out there. Da ist doch was los, oder nicht? 
Hier, dein Ding ist los. Was ist da los? Der Stoßdämpferhalter. Ja. Hä? Aha, ja. Okay. We have found out that the, the front damper was loose. Over here. The screw here was loose. So that was knock, uh, the making the knocking noises. Oh man, what an error. I've mounted it myself, so it came loose. My own fault, man. Now, after the test drive, uh, everything is calm now, very good. So it was only the loose bolt. And uh, so, we are driving home now, Scooby and I. See you later.